Hello, everybody. Back to another episode of my Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Let's Play. Last time, we pressed Cody here. Actually, we talked to Salmonella first. Then we pressed Cody here, and we found he tried to lie to us and say he did not have his camera when he witnessed the murder. But he did have his camera. And that's we, where we are right now. So, he was glued to the action. Couldn't take his eyes off of it. He steals Samurai. He goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. He steals Samurai. Rules! <laughs> Does this kid not know that there was an actual murder? Um, ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. I like the judge better in this game. Um, yeah, yeah, I have my camera with me. Yeah, there's nothing there. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Hold it! <laughs> so you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No! Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting to that, spiky head. I feel bad about for this kid. Um, <laughs> yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? He was tall and thin, he told me. I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching this to Samurai. LIAR! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why would I press that? Because he got a spear through his chest! Dude, Phoenix, settle down! Oh, oh. Okay. So there was no spear involved. This is interesting. Um, I don't want to press him harder. Let's, um, <sighs> um, but uh, he's being vi- oh, I don't know. Okay, I'd rather not, but <laughs> something's bothering me. Before, you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so? Yet yeah, you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? Shut up, Edgeworth! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. <laughs> Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap! My point is this, Code, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurais fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow! <laughs> Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, er, that's the uh, that's thing, uh, Phoenix, yeah. I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out! Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that young boy is a great fan of the still samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Oh, crap. Um... Crap, 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 crap. Okay, it's going to be that he was looking at his camera, but do I need to show evidence of that, or do I say he was watching something else with something else being the camera? Oh, okay, let's do this one. I mean, it's only one demerit if I get it wrong. It's not going to kill me. <laughs> Probably. Crap. 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 Please, please, come on, do it, do it! Ah! Camera! Do the camera! Come on! Damn it. Um, well then, let's try this again. I don't think I lost anything, though. Let's try showing evidence. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated, thank you very much. <laughs> He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera! <laughs> he was trying to take a picture! Hey! <laughs> Bullseye! What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Yes. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody! There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet, so you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. 
Man, calm down. The defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. V very well, Cody, would you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. The lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Oh gosh, kid, I'm sorry. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Poor kid, look at him. Yeah, you're right, Pops. I don't think there's a contradiction there! What do you all think? <laughs> the Steel Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera- it's gonna be this one. HOLD IT! <laughs> so you did see the beginning of the fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything on you? Um, well, uh, I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Move oh, don't say limping. Please, for the love of, the love of God, don't say limping. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens would and that's not going to be important. That's all... Crap. Double crap, triple crap. There's nothing there! Okay, um... That's all. Yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once, I would have once I got that lens open. I can't let it slide. Sorry, kid. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackens. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey, bullseye? Maybe? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Heckins. It's one of my powers. Ew. This feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? Okay, why did lies and slander? You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a liar? I better find a clear contradiction sooner, some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. No. 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 Oh, crap. Um, crap, crap, crap. We'll top, we got double crap again! Triple crap! Um... Uh... Wait! Aha! Objection. Found it! <laughs> I, I totally forgot about that stupid thing. It's been a, it's been a few days since I did this. Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this uh, this the other day. Huh? Oh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Seal Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. <laughs> Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. You wouldn't you keep it for your album? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has ever won. I see. Don't you find this odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, will you have you an explanation? The Steel Samurai has just defeated his adversary. I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Oh God. That was the craziest reaction I've seen from him yet! I think we finally discovered the truth. And what truth is that? Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually lose? Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking is what he's thinking, so I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking 
is what he's thinking, which is right. So I'm pretty sure that I'm thinking right. If you followed that. Why was there no picture on the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Boom. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win! That's why Cody deleted those photos! <laughs> well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, the bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No! It's impossible! <laughs> Same reason he erases precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable if the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose, and to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! So what happened? Did they switch costumes? I will have order. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the- This is gonna go to another day of investigation. It's going to another day of investigation. WHAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
but oh 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 that, okay that's not a two that's an s that's a two there we go I see a gate might I draw your attention to the number on that gate the number oh uh, yes well it's a hard to see but it looks like it looks like a two clearly another one your honor correct yeah Edgeworth understands yeah buddy I believe Mr. Ed yeah here we go me and Phoenix are starting me and Phoenix are starting to think alike and that's kind of scary um, what's it all about? Please explain that I may be shocked along with the rest of the court. The body was found there. However, what did we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say a one on the gate photo, your honor. Here is the true scene of the crime. Come on. Here, at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. Maybe it was them. They were at the scene of the crime! The path through the trailer was blocked. The path was blocked at 2.15. Yeah. Does that mean Will Powers couldn't have done it? Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed the murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime. Because if Mr. My Defendant was in his dressing room sleeping, he could not have done it. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard Mrs. Oldbag saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did to cover up the details of his own murder? No. Actually, I think that he was trying to convince the producer to make him the Steel Samurai. That's my hypothesis. We'll see where that goes. I'm sure we'll find out. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack- Oh, crap. I have no proof. I, I do not have proof. Yeah. Phoenix, even if you're not 100% sure about this, you have to try. And I think you've got proof- Oh, come on! I do have proof. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Crap! Wait. Wait. That might be it. That might be good enough. Let's come back. All I have is the spear and the pills. And I think it's the pills. This is... Please. Ha! Got it! The, st the same table of Mr. Powers and I... Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes, but there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Both of these would work. Run a test of Powers' blood. You should find traces of the sleeping pills. This much time after the day after the murder? Even if there were traces, it still proved nothing. Okay, then it's the fingerprints. They need a... The coding's a little sloppy, but whatever. And they should get rid of the options we've already done. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer... Mr. Hammer's fingerprint should show up on the bottle. I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. That was quick. Okay, never mind. Cody Hackman's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Mrs. Oldbag may have been Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright, your homework is to homework. Why would Mr. Hammer steal this to the samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. Jesus. Okay. You will need to re reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. 
This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Because I'm pretty sure there was that rule that said three days was the limit. Didn't they talk about that last case? I think they did. That was why it was so urgent we had to, we had to prove Maya innocent. Phew, that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Really? You both seem so, so confident. Ha! Maybe I should take up a career in acting. Me too. Dead? Ho ho ho, of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make one final investigation. But I promise you, we will find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Thanks! Okay, a lot just happened. Um, we learned that both Salmonella and um, the producer had time and the opportunity to murder our victim. We also learned that the victim was in the Steel Samurai costume. So, for that to happen, someone would have had to switch the costumes and hide the Steel Samurai costume. Which is why I think there is no blood at the scene of the crime, because the costume soaked it all up and that's not the costume he was killed in. Furthermore, I personally believe that the reason that he was in the costume was because he was going, that's what the meeting was about. The meeting was to ask them to switch roles that he would play the Steel Samurai and that Will Powers would be fired or something along those lines. I'm sure we'll find out next time. I will see you then. It has been a blast. Good afternoon. Have a good one. Oh my gosh. Okay, bye.